technology plays a key role also in the real estate. Technology helps in building a seamless process from customer experience from back end to various verticals of real estate. So let's ask Mr. Niranjan sir what he thinks about the technology. What is the current technology he is loving and he feels is the game changer in the current real estate scenario. So sir, as a customer and as an industry stakeholder, what can we expect from Hiranandani Group in the next 10 years? 10 years is very long time. Uh, you are a young person so you can think like that. I'm looking at next two to three to four years. Hmm. I think uh, we will grow uh, in the uh, township space. Panvel uh, is fine with it. Uh, we will grow in Alipak, we will grow in Kandala, uh, we will grow in Pune, we will grow in uh, Oregon in, uh, in Chennai. Uh, we have several other uh, redevelopment projects that we are looking at. So we are going to do that. We are looking at a commercial platform. Uh, that also is likely to start this year. Mm. So, next couple of years, too much at real estate. How much we will grow? Fortunately, we are not listed. So, we won't have to go claim or do that. Yeah. But grow we will. That is so. Uh, as far as the rest of the things are concerned, mm. I have about 45,000 students in my university and colleges. I plan to reach 4 lakh 50,000 in two years. Right. Uh, in whatever way it is, even if it's an online platform. Mm. Uh, we're working a lot on the skill development side. We're doing it. In the hospital side, we want to work on uh, diabetes mm. as a subject. It's one of the uh, most prevalent. Uh, we have the capital of uh, diabetes in the world, yeah. India. And I think uh, there's a lot of opportunity to sort out that issue in, mm. as far as we are concerned. And we plan to launch it. Uh, the beta version within two, three months and probably the full extent by July, August this year. So hopefully you'll come back to me for an interview on that. <laughs> for sure. So sir, as you mentioned Dubai, I wanted to ask you, that's the first uh, Hiranandani expansion to the international market. When will we see more footprint of the brand in the international market? Are there going to be more projects coming in in the international market? Well, as of now, Darshan, my son, is focusing on data centers, the water one, which has already put up two. Yeah. Uh, last night, they announced Bangladesh as an opportunity. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to do, we're going to do it in City, uh, the Prime Minister's yeah. place. And uh, we're also going to take up various other centers in India. We are also doing a platform with industrial and warehousing, yeah. uh, with the 50-50 uh, with Blackstone, and also into gas pipeline. So, opportunities keep on coming into various lines of businesses and uh, though Darshan is very fond of real estate, he also finds the other things equally attractive. So, he's been focusing on that also and uh, very successful. So, I would say in the next few years, while we will continue real estate in a very large way, mm. other opportunities are coming to the group and uh, we don't leave those opportunities behind. Also the fact that I, I do a lot of work on the not-for-profit area of the schools, colleges and hospitals, yeah. skill development, university. All that is not-for-profit as far as I'm concerned or the group is concerned. We'll continue to grow that too. So it's not only about uh, growth in uh, uh, financial growth which we are talking about. Mm. The other part of it is equally exciting and fantastic. True. So, sir, from a typical, uh, you know, sales point of view, like ERP and uh, CMS, what is the upcoming technology that Hiran Nani Group is using to make the construction or the customer service faster? I think technology is a necessary ingredient in everything that we do today. Whether it is communicating to the clients, informing them about the progress of work, uh, being able to monitor the needs of the clients, uh, social media in order to communicate what is happening in the project and the other reflections are doing. Understanding the needs and demands of the customers, finding out where the pain points are for the people who are onboarding your existing customer. And uh, of course the system is in internal management, project management. It's all about the technology that we need to use. And I think uh, this is continuously going to grow. And uh, your communication level to the youth 
definitely is through uh, social media, yeah. through the OTT platforms, through other uh, systems which are there. So the traditional methods, which is which was newsprint and others, are there still. But it, uh, it's really the importance is getting diluted, or it's getting jointly now importance along with the other methods of media. So, so technology becomes the backbone of everything that we are doing. So in current, uh, in your own internal group, which technology are you guys uh, implementing to make this uh, construction or make any process faster? Multiple. Okay. Uh, it's not just the one uh, ERP that we use. There are multiple for project management to be different for internal. We also build a lot of uh, uh, ERP solutions ourselves. Okay. So on the sales side, we've got our own solutions that we have to an internal team. So different uh, things are there. But remember, most of these things become outdated into a few years. So irrespective of what uh, you know, what you are using in terms of technology, in two, three years things will completely change. Yeah. And uh, you have to just move on for the purposes of that. So I think it's very exciting. In fact, uh, using new technology is pretty exciting uh, uh, to people like me. Having uh, instant answers, instant communication, communicating, understanding and what are the problems for the clients and how we are doing it, what is the stage of the decision making of the client, we know that also. So, yeah. you know, he's come once, he's inquired why, he's spoken to the channel partner, all that is kind of uh, informed to us. How could we have done that before technology was available? So, very exciting. So what is your take on met Metaverse and do you think in India if we bring Metaverse it's going to create a good experience for customer or are we still uh, have to wait for the Metaverse to come in and for the customer to actually know? Yeah. Yeah. The question is not that. The question is what ultimately makes a customer to buy a product. Yeah. So Metaverse is the one tool. It's like a knife. You have a knife, you can cut bread, you can kill somebody. Mm. How you use the thing for your use is more important. So it's not about the tool of Metaverse. Mm. Metaverse is a fantastic tool and it will be definitely useful for real estate in order to picturize something which is not there yet. But having said that, will that be the tool? Not necessary. There will be so many other factors which is really going to decide the customer to do it. But will it be a good thing? It will be very good choice. So, metaverse will be a great tool for purposes of marketing and sales. Yeah. But it won't be the only tool. Let me show you. So, do you feel Indian customers are open to such tools that they can purchase? Yes, even today, I mean, the communication to the millennials, we do a lot through social media. Mm. The connectivity, the chat box, uh, all these things are definitely there. Yeah. The websites, the interactive websites that we do, availability of communication, availability of information about the progress of the project, all that is readily available. You can get it at the peak of the thought of its availability. So, it's fantastic. Yeah, so there's a lot of artificial intelligence tools that are coming, like as you early mentioned about ChatGPT. So I want to understand, it's a far ahead prediction, but do you think in India the real-time transaction between customer would be eliminated because of this artificial intelligence tool uh, coming in? Do you think we'll adapt that? Ghar baite, ghar liya, no need to see because you have seen all that in the 3D or in the virtual experience. Do you think are we going to go in that direction? social media many of the websites show you how you will look if you wear those things. Yeah. may help you to take a decision. But when you go, you still want to try out your thing uh, of your clothes before you actually buy it. Makan it. It's not that you do not decide by going through it. But the touch and feel of the place is always going to be there. So I will sell a large number of apartments because of my credibility, brand commitments and others. 
a lot of people uh, abroad here and in the country who are interested in that for their own use. So they believe it. Yeah. They trust it. Yeah. So that, so you can't be an untrustworthy company and think you can sell to the net. If you are a trustworthy company and you have all the other things available to you, they can even do a transaction through the net. Many people are buying from us from many other credible companies through the net. And transactions are also closing. But are majority of the people doing that? The answer is no. So maybe this will change and a higher percentage of people will buy through the media through the net without actually physically seeing that. But will all the people do that? So there's, is there any other uh, new technology or current technology that you are fascinated with and you feel this is the game changer for the real estate? Chat GPT. <laughs> uh, everything yeah. new has an opportunity. Don't discount anything which has come. Mm. You will get the world at your doorstep. But you have to look for it. You have to find it. And you have to, you have to bring that nexus of your own product to the opportunity that comes. A couple of years ago, we thought that TV as a media would sell before TV. And suddenly TV just mind blown people. Hodings, we didn't think hodings would be so important, would become important. So many people thought there's never going to be an OTT platform which will work. It works. Yeah. Uh, social media, yeah. all the social media platforms that we got, they work. And they're interactive and people are able to relate to it. And they're able to, on a print media, how many people write to a print? So very few. And uh, not that they don't, but they very, very few actually. The OTT platform is so interactive. The, the social media is hyper interactive. Yeah. It's a little bit too much. But the uh, is so, so new ideas, new thoughts, new methodology, metaverse, everything is going to be the future of what and uh, education, learning, lifelong learning. I am learning so many things through the net. I couldn't have imagined that uh, at the age of 72, I would be a learner. And I could log on to so many things and learn. 